Handmade Blade Coffee Grinder combines high performance with classic styling to deliver gourmet results every time. Flawless fingertip control lets you grind enough beans to brew up to 12 cups of coffee quickly and with minimal noise. And the bowl, blade, and cover are dishwasher safe. It's how great coffee gets made. Premium performance, exceptional results, legendary KitchenAid quality. This Pro Burr Grinder enables a better and more even extraction with its stainless steel conical burrs. This compact designed burr grinder holds over 200 grams of coffee. The grinder has 12 settings which allow you to adjust your grind size from French press to espresso. It also has a programmable time function to assist in dosing. The instructions on the lid assist you when setting the timer for your chosen brew method. The dosing chamber is made of borsalic glass which is anti-static, ensuring coffee fines do not stick. Enjoy! Hi, I'm Phil McKnight from Breville and today I'd like to show you how to get the most out of your Smart Grinder Pro. When grinding for espresso, it's really important that you use a single wall filter basket. That way you'll get the maximum flavour potential of the coffee that you're making. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to insert our single wall filter basket into our porter filter. The next thing you need to do is make sure that you insert the correct cradle into the grinder. So our grinder comes with two cradles, one for 50 slash 54 millimetre and 58 millimetre. Today we're going to use the 58 millimetre. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to grind into our porter filter. So we just insert our porter filter into our grinder cradle. We set our grind size. So here we have it on about 14 to start. Just adjust that depending on flow rate. We're also going to set the number of shots. So we're using a double cup basket so we're setting this to two shots. And now we can start the grinding process. We can do that by pressing the start cancel button or momentarily just pressing the porter filter in and releasing. So now I've used the convenient pause function. This will allow us to settle and collapse our coffee in the filter basket, then reinsert into the porter filter cradle and continue grinding with the remaining dose. So now our coffee's finished grinding. And this is the way freshly roasted, freshly ground coffee looks. It always looks like you have too much, but once it's tamped, it'll be at exactly the right level. If you love drip filter coffee, it's really easy and convenient to grind directly into a gold tone filter or into a paper filter basket. It's pretty simple, all you need to do is remove the cradle if it's been installed. You need to adjust your grind setting. So you adjust your grind setting up into the drip filter zone. So about 50 is a good starting point. All we need to do then is select the number of cups that we're going to brew. So I'm going to brew four cups. And then we just need to insert our paper filter basket into our grinder and press the start cancel button to begin the grinding process. And there we are, we're ready to brew our drip filter coffee. If for any reason you need to extend the grinding range of your grinder, if you're at the finest setting but still need to go finer, or if you're at the coarsest end and need to go coarser, we have an adjustable upper burr that allows you to extend the range of your grinder. It's easy to use, simple to adjust, and I'll show you how to do that now. All you need to do is empty the beans out of your hopper, unlock the hopper from the top of the grinder, then unlock the upper burr, and once you take that out, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is grab this wire, release it from the burr, then you'll notice on the burr there are numbers. If you'd like the grinder to go coarser, all you need to do is rotate the upper burr clockwise in the direction of where it says coarse, so the numbers are getting larger. Larger number, coarser particle sizes. So just one at a time. We recommend that you only make one adjustment at a time, then you can reinstall, test the result and make a further adjustment if necessary. Once you've made your adjustment, all you need to do is reinstall the wire handle back into the upper burr body. Use the red index mark as a guide. Stretch it across. Make sure it's inserted firmly in both sides. Now all we need to do is reinstall the upper burr in the body of the grinder. So just align the red mark with the align mark in the grinder body and then rotate around until it clicks into the locked position. 
So the Smart Grinder Pro, that's your start to making great tasting coffee. Hi, my name is Sam and I'm the technician here at Ranchilio for our Homeland Machines of Sylvia in the Rockies. And we just want to show you today some of the, the basics of our machines. Ranchilio offers two different models of our Rocky grinders. We have our um, SD, which is Sans Doser, so it doesn't have a doser on it. And this one is our S which has a doser on it. Um, so the main difference between these two is that when the coffee is ground, the, the grounds go into this chamber here. And then we can put them into the portafilter basket with this lever. And then with this one, our, our doserless one, um, you can put the portafilter onto the fork and then the grounds will go directly into your basket when the button is activated. This machine has two buttons that need to be activated in order for the machine to turn on. So we have the main power switch here, um, and then we also have this button here that when activated, it'll start up the motor and it'll grind our coffee and the coffee will come out of the chute. So some of our features of our Rocky SD, our, our doserless, is that it is an adjustable um, grind. So what you can do is you press this button, you can move the whole hopper, and what this does is it's telling the burrs inside how far apart they need to be from each other. Um, so what it does is that the more higher number you get, the further apart your burrs are going to be, and this will affect how coarse your grind is.